Kapag nakakarinig ako ng 4K gaming monitor, ang unang pumapasok sa isip ko is mahal yun. Pero merong gaming monitor ngayon si Gigabyte na 32 inches, 4K na din ang resolution at 144Hz ang refresh rate. And meron ding built-in KVM module for only 42,990 pesos. Sulit nga ba ito? Let's find out! This video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com VIP SCD Key is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIP SCD Key offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $21. This is the same case I use on my PC builds. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 20% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. You now have your legit Windows 10 key license all set but in a more affordable price. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or Gcash. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. So thank you VIPSCDKey.com for sponsoring this video. Pero bago ang lahat, let's take a look muna kung ano yung nasa box. Meron tayong ditong tatlong mga power cords for different regions. One high bandwidth HDMI 2.1 cable. Isang display port cable as well as isang USB Type A to Type B cable to connect the monitor to your PC, and of course, the quick start guide as well as yung warranty card. By the way, kudos on the box design, Gigabyte. Di ako nahirapan i-unbox at ilabas ang monitor. The Gigabyte M32U is a 32-inch 4K Ultra High Definition IPS gaming monitor with 144Hz refresh rate, which I think is already enough lalo na kung ang trip mong laruin is yung mga games na mas maganda ang rendering ng details when on high resolution. For the panel, since IPS type ito, it has a wide viewing angle at around 178 degrees. It also features display HDR400 support, although to be honest, I think di naman ganun ka-visible yung HDR effect when we're only at around 350 nits. Pero in my opinion, for indoors, the display is bright enough and also colors are vibrant and my 6-axis color customization where you can adjust either the U or the saturation values of 6 colors such as red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow in case na gusto mong timplahin ang colors for better calibration. It also supports 10-bit color although 8-bit plus FRC lang siya at hindi true 10-bit with high color gamut coverage of DCI-P3 at 90% and 123% of sRGB as per Gigabyte Specs page. According to our tests, medyo malapit sa claims nila yung rating na nakuha natin within the margin of error. There's also 1 millisecond MPRT or Moving Picture Response Time and may support din siya for AMD FreeSync Premium Pro as well as Adaptive Sync technology so G-Sync should work then. Both of which are helping to avoid screen tearing sa games and applications. Design-wise, simple lang siya tingnan Walang mga RGB or pailaw, but very functional naman. We have thin bezels on the front except sa baba where the Gigabyte logo and the power LED indicator is. Matte finish on most surfaces and a glossy plastic at the top back with Gigabyte logo ulit. You can see that there's also exhaust vents sa monitor for hot air dissipation. Minimal in details, so kung gusto mo na medyo aggressive ang datingan, so this is not a gaming monitor for you. The stand, okay siya mukhang matibay since it's mix of metal base with plastic garnishes. Madali lang ikabit and the important ergonomic adjustments are all covered. Gaya ng swivel, tilt, and height in order to get the perfect viewing angle. Although rotation would be impossible at this stand size, syempre. Pwede ka din magkabit ng monitor arm in case you want. Meron siyang VESA mounts sa likod. Sa likod, makikita nyo yung joystick with power button and OSD controls and the KVM switch, which is another headlining feature ng monitor na ito. And you can watch my previous video which explains what and how does KVM work in case na hindi mo gets kung ano ito. But to sum it up, pwede kang gumamit ng dalawang PC only with one monitor and one keyboard and mouse. Ideal kung meron kang multiple PCs na gamit like for work from home, one for work laptop, and one for personal PC or for streaming. Connectivity-wise, meron siyang dalawang HDMI 2.1, so yes, it supports consoles gaya ng PS5 and Xbox Series X at 4K UHD at 120Hz. 
Meron din siyang isang DisplayPort 1.4 and isang USB Type-C. Meron din isang USB Type-B for connection to the computer, tatlong USB 3.0 Type-A, and isang 3.5mm jack pass-through for headphones. As for the Gigabyte M32U's features, there's a lot packed on it gaya ng mga gaming-centric features such as Game Assist, which contains features gaya ng Timer, Counter, Crosshair, Aim Stabilizer Sync, PIP, and PBP Picture Modes, as well as Dashboard, which shows you hardware infos gaya ng CPU and GPU temperatures, FPS, at iba pa. Black Equalizer which allows you to expose details ng mga dark areas ng games without overexposing the bright sides. Very useful ito pag dark ang environment sa games as well as OSD Sidekick which allows the users to set display option just like what you do with the joystick OSD using a keyboard and mouse, making life much easier. So meron din dalawang 3W speakers for stereo sound. It sounds decent naman but has minimal bass due to it being a small unit. And it lacks clarity pero pwede na for casual listening. In terms of panel ghosting and strobing, very minimal kahit naka-off ang mga overdrive settings as you can see in these photos. It means this panel is good in terms of motion performance. Medyo meron lang konte when you set it to either balance or speed. So you actually get better performance and quality when on smart overdrive or picture quality mode. I mean, even if no overdrive settings is enabled, maganda pa rin ang motion performance ng panel. Gaming on 4K actually requires a lot of horsepower. So kailangan meron kang CPU and GPU na kaya humandel nito. Otherwise, you'll be running it on lower settings instead, which just weights its potential. Pero for me, I think 4K resolution is ideal for 32 inches panels and up. So in terms of crispness sa details and color vibrance, hindi ka bibigoin ng monitor na to. In my opinion, the Gigabyte M32U is a decent, feature-packed 4K gaming monitor, which has a lot of gamer-centric features and also KVM. Hindi lahat ng gaming monitor meron yan. Maganda siya pang gaming, especially with adventure-oriented, racing, or even competitive esports titles dahil sa kanyang 144Hz refresh rate. Pwedeng-pwede din siya pang nood ng movies, music videos, at content creation dahil sa wide color gamot nito. And ideally, the larger screen size and resolution would give you more view area sa editing apps gaya ng Adobe Photoshop or Premium Pro. For the cons, is just similar with its M32Q cousin, which is yung quad high definition version nito na nireview ko na nung nakaraan. Gaya ng joystick OSD placement being inconvenient since you have to reach out to the back beside the KBM switch in order to customize some monitor options on the fly. Although like I said earlier, meron itong feature called OSD Sidekick which you can use kung tinatamad kang tumayo para kapain yung joystick sa likod. Meron dun itong hiwalay na power supply on-off switch which is unusual ang location beside the AC power cord input. So kung hindi mo ito check, baka mamaya magtataka ka kasi walang power yung monitor dahil naka-off ito. At mapagkakamalang mong sira just like what happened to me. Sana isa na lang yung switch nito and that is yung nasa joystick which is what we are used to. Pero minimal lang naman ito mga issues na ito and it's more like of a personal opinion so hindi siya totally mga deal breakers. Price wise, the Gigabyte M32U is priced at around 42,990. For me, I think it's something justifiable not only because of the built-in KVM switch which is actually expensive in itself but also for being 4K resolution at 144Hz refresh rate, IPS panel, and HDR400 capable which makes it a very strong contender for those who are eyeing larger, flat surface monitors like this. For those who are interested, naglagay po ako ng link sa video description kung saan nyo siya mabibili online. So there you go guys, uh, this is my review of the Gigabyte M32U 4K 144Hz gaming monitor. So there you have it, thank you guys for tuning in. Ako nga pala si Action, so like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video.